So, Gab, which team do you think has the brighter future over the next couple of seasons at this moment in time? Chelsea or United? The reason I'm going to go with Chelsea is because... Whoa. Only because the amount of players that they've signed and players that are already there, you look at the ages. I mean, you look at Chelsea, for instance. Mudrick, 23. He yeah. can't get any worse. He's got to get better. <laughs> Cole Palmer, 21. Very good. Um, Maduiki, 22. He's a decent player when he comes on. Lavia, only played 33 minutes this season. Was very good at Southampton. Injury problems. If he gets over them injury problems, he's a very good player. Casado, 22. Fernandez, 23. No, well, I'll rewind. Casado, has he been a bit of a letdown? Yeah, this season he's not been at his best. But if the manager can get him playing at his best, we've seen what he can do at Brighton. He's a good player. Fernandez, 23. You've got Chilwell, 27. Reese James, 24. Diassi, 26. Badi Ashile, 23. Did I not see Reece James might have to be sold? Maybe, yeah, that. they might have, they might have to, yeah. But Nkunku, twenty six, he's the one that I like. Nkunku had injury problems, but he's one of the players that, if he's fit and he gets a run of games, he'll be a big threat. So I look at them players, and that's a team there. So you that's wouldn't got, be changing it. You would not change. I the wouldn't manager. change any of them players there. And the manager, I would give him. I would give him another season. He's got. He's got to stop coming out with um, silly quotes after games. He's got to like get a, a good st- finish to the season. This season, good preseason. Maybe get rid of a few. Um, that aren't up to it at Chelsea but that group of players there for the future I feel like Chelsea have got a decent prediction tonight then who wins tonight I think Chelsea win I feel um, pressure on Ten Hag but the way they turned up against Brentford another away game I don't think they will turn up I think big pressure on Pochettino drawing against Burnley at home when you played 50 minutes 55 minutes with an extra man is quite shocking and they could have won it at the end and Burnley as well so okay, I think Chelsea all three, win ok all three seven one seven double two double three double four. which team is a bright future Jonathan's United fan Jonathan has given us a call this morning Jonathan good morning good morning Jonathan good morning guys how are you doing Jonathan I'm I'm well I thought uh, the cup tie was great and then that dross last week dear oh dear <laughs> it's funny Alan I just heard again on the radio and um, Ten Hag's comments about the consistency of the team well the only thing they're consistent about is lazy and poor and it becomes worse every week when he comes out after Bradford Brentford battered us yeah, yeah. Up. and he's trying to say the team never played that bad oh. um, Jonathan how old are you Jonathan that's a bit cheeky isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no I want to see what eras you watched of Manchester United I'll because tell you now mate I'll tell you now, I'm 57. My first game was the FA Cup quarter final in 1976 against Wolves. So I've seen everything. But to see this now, you know, we talk about the Fergie era and, and teams yeah. after that. But looking at the team now, the inconsistency, it must be so frustrating. Well, I'll tell you what's frustrating. <laughs> I've seen some poor teams, poor players, but I've never seen so many disinterested, lazy yeah. players. And that's the difference. Listen, if someone's not a good player, they're not a good player. Right, but you used to get players, and I won't mention them, were the, who I think were poor, but Alan would have played with some of them, and I'm not including you, Alan, but the guys battled before. Yeah. You know, I used to, I remember one thing, Kevin Moran was not a poor player, he was a great player. We were playing Ipswich one day, he'd done his hamstring, someone went past him, and he still tackled him with the other leg. Can you imagine yeah. one of this? Oh, here? Kevin was hard as nails, hard as nails. Well, and that's it. And I know football's changed, and I know you can't kick lumps out of people, but you still should have the desire. And the desire. I mean, to me, Rashford, sell him. Um, we'll get big money off PSG and it'll help with financial fair play. Mm. Um, most of them, you look at the team, we've got a couple of good kids coming through. Even the likes of Varane. You know, Varane gets an eye like he's injured. You know, yeah. and that, 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 that is the trouble with Manchester Jonathan, United. Jonathan, would you make a Ten Hag sort of saying to the new owner or joint owner saying stay out of it just, don't don't interfere with me I'm, I think he's on thin ice I really do thin ice mate he's deluded yeah right. that man is deluded he, he is deluded <laughs> I was just going to say he's nearly as deluded as West Ham fans <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say to you before when we're talking about booing booing people listen I, I'd be booing Mount if it was the other way around but Chelsea fans aren't as deluded as West Ham fans. <laughs> you know now, I'll tell you one thing. 
You know, if the coach drivers drive in the England team and they win the Euros, West Ham fans will say West Ham won the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, I'm going to move on. Thank you. Eric Ten Hag has claimed it was Mason Mount's decision. What I think you say, it was Mason's decision to leave Chelsea for United last summer. Yes. The midfielder joined the Blues at the age of six but departed. Uh, his boyhood club in July to move to Old Trafford in a £60 million transfer. Ten Hag says it was Mount's decision to leave London. I don't think they want they wanted him to uh, they wanted to sell him. <laughs> that is, uh, they want to keep him. Uh, they offered him even a new contract uh, many times. Uh, but he wants to make this step. And yeah, we uh, we were f- uh, we were and we are very pleased. Uh, he's a Man United player because he has great abilities, and I'm sure he will he will contribute, and he will become a, a big player for Man United. I tell you, what, I hope Mason's not listening to this. You imagine him thinking about tonight's game. Oh, no, cheers, Gaffer. Oh, thanks, Gaff. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind the bus driver. Thanks for throwing <laughs> me under the bus. Can you believe it? So Mount left Chelsea after prolonged contract standoff with England yeah. International eventually sold with a year left to run these deals. So Chelsea fans, will you be booing Mason Mount? Um, I think some will, some won't. Yeah. 03 717 Tony's a Chelsea fan. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we? Good, thank Very you. Well, Good, mate. Tony. Are you looking forward to it tonight? Oh, I certainly am, yeah. I'll, I'll be one of them guys that I won't be booing him. Um, good man, good. My, my, yeah, my own reason he, he decided to move, I don't think it's happened for him, has it? He's, had it. he's, he's, he's what I call a sick mode. He's, he's not gone on gone on mm. from yeah. Chelsea. And we've, yeah. uh, I wouldn't swap him for Cole Palmer, put it that way. No way. So, w- w- what about who's, who's under most pressure tonight, Tony? Is it Poch or is it Ten Hag? I probably think, probably. T- Probably both of them, really. But if he was talking about European football, you know, United are sitting just there, aren't they? So they, they, they'd they be wanting to win tonight. So he's under pressure. But he seems to be... But they've been playing awful this season, United. I know Chelsea haven't been much better, but he seems to be keeping his place there, Tenag. I mean, I don't know how they beat... I didn't see the Liverpool game. I don't know how they beat Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you guys probably watched it. I didn't see the game, but... I wouldn't be putting money on Chelsea. You know, I live and breathe Chelsea. You know, like we do at our clubs. But it's just, I was at the Burnley game and it was oh. shocking. It was uh, shocking. Uh, Tony, are Chelsea have too many big time Charlies, too many young players who think they've made it already? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just listening to what Gab said. I, I'm still not sure with this Casido and Enzo in the middle. I've said it before. They just, they don't tick for me. I mean, there's obviously something there, but they, you know, Casido might play well for Brighton. Does he fit in at Chelsea? Oh, I've not mm. really seen anything to, him to, to set us alight there. Whereas Palmer comes in immediately and think, hello, this is a good signing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but you know, look, Mike Mason's moved on the same as Hazard did. You know, we forget about him, we move on, don't we? You know, um, but uh, Cole Palmer, you know, if, if, if I was building that team, I'd be building that team around Palmer. Yeah. yeah. Are you there tonight? Are you going? Definitely, yeah. Be sitting in the West Lower tonight, boys. Yeah, uh, with the usual seat, cheering on. Well, yeah. enjoy, Tony. I, th- I appreciate man, the call. Tony. Thank you. Uh, it's going to take a cracking game. It could be an open I game think tonight. Could be open. Uh, it could end be a three-two job. Yeah, I fancy Chelsea though. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m. on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.